Hello and welcome to the OpenSAP course DevOps for ABAP with GCTS in SAP S4HANA. Week 1 GCTS Basics and Preparation Unit 4 Introduction to the Exercise Landscape My name is Harald Stevens and I'm a Product Manager at SAP. We will in this uh, unit show you briefly how our exercise landscape looks like and how you access the different tools we will be using. So the overall picture of our landscape looks like this. We have two S4HANA systems, DEF and TEST, and we connect them for the GCTS exercises to a central GitHub repository. In the last week, we will then additionally use uh, Jenkins as a CI uh, server to run pipelines for the exercises. Which tools we'll be using? We have on the one side for creating and changing workbench objects, we will be using the ABAP development tools. Um, you can optionally also use the old, in quotes, uh, tools, uh, Transaction SE80 and others to work with the workbench objects, but in our demos we will use the ABAP development tools. Then we will have SPRO, which is the central entry point for customizing uh, in the S4HANA system, so we will do some customizing to show that this is also possible to be worked with in GCTS. And then, of course, we have the central app, the Fiori app, to work with GCTS itself. And this will be accessed via your browser. On top of that, we will look once in a while into a GitHub, how this looks like um, in the yeah, uh, overall uh, GitHub repository. And last not least, we will access Jenkins. That will also happen via your browser. A few words about the, the systems. DEF and TEST are, as I said, SAP S4HANA 2021 systems, so quite new. The data to connect to them you will, uh, will be shared to, with you in a, um, a confirmation mail you receive after you have registered for the um, exercises. Additionally, we will also share them in the um, exercise descriptions in the additional material. Please note that all syst the systems are shared between all participants, uh, which means the objects we are creating during the exercises have to follow specific naming conventions so that we do not override other people's work. On top of that, of course, we uh, have to limit the number of parallel users because we cannot create the systems with an unlimited size. So therefore, we will have uh, a limit of users, potentially one to 200 people at the same time. So it might happen that you don't get access immediately. If so, please try later. And of course, if you have completed your work, please log out so that others can uh, enter the system. And of course, as we are sharing the systems between all people, it would be very nice not to break the systems. Um, we will be doing backups of the system each day so that in the worst case, we can go back to the day before, but of course that would hurt lots and lots of people. So please be careful. Now let me show you how these different tools would be used during the course. First of all, you need um, a subgui logon uh, to get into the systems. We will provide you with the user and a, a password, which we will you have to change at the first login, and then you get into the well-known ABA world. So let me just start that, and I will log in with the user, will which uh, will look like a little bit like that. So, for example, this one here. So now you're in the uh, SAP ABAP system 
and you will now uh, be able to go to the well-known uh, transactions like for example the S Pro for working with the uh, customizing and then you enter the uh, reference uh, implementation guide and then we will pick one or two of these um, customizing activities to show the transport of customizing objects. Secondly, we have for the workbench, we'll be using the um, ABAP workbench tools, uh, development tools, ADT. And of course, when you have configured your uh, sub logon to use uh, um, to access the uh, demo systems or the test, the, the exercise systems, then it's quite easy to do the same and to, to retrieve the information um, into your um, ADT. And here I have already done this for the development system, so you can see that I'm now able to work with ADT uh, with our development system. For example, I've created a package. And so we will be using this, this as well. And of course, we are also planning to handle the transport requests inside ADT. Then um, the main part, of course, will happen in the GCTS app. And uh, again, this will be accessed via a link in the browser. And then you will be asked to log on to the Fury Launchpad. And initially, this will be empty, yeah? but then it, you can um, add your, the, the GCTS app to your home screen by using the Edit Home Page button and then add the new the app by searching for GCTS. And then you are able to uh, pin this app to your home screen. Okay, after you've done that, you can click on the, the uh, GCTS app and then you will enter your uh, GCTS app. And in this case, for example, I've already created two repositories and that's where we'll be working. Yeah, so I can also jump into that uh, and see that, um, for example, we have already one initial commit uh, stored in this repository. On the other side, as said, we will be using GCTS, um, uh, GitHub, and here this is the counterpart on the GitHub side. So we have here the um, uh, corresponding repositories in GitHub um, where, uh, for example, we have now this initial uh, commit um, for uh, the workbench repository. Last not least, uh, we will also be using uh, Jenkins. Uh, I have only now a screenshot because it's not yet set up in our uh, in that stage. But anyway, the entry will be look will be looking a little bit like that. So where you have the option to create a new item, for example, a new pipeline, and that's what we will be doing. Okay, let's go back to our uh, slides. So this would be the uh, final slide of this, of this unit. So what have you learned? We have two S4HANA uh, systems, dev and test, which will be using dev for creating the objects, test for yeah, pulling the objects or receiving the objects. Um, we will be working mainly with the GCTS app, which will be accessed via a browser, it's a Fiori app. And then the landscape is shared between all participants, so please be careful. Thanks a lot for joining that session. And uh, in the next session, we will then really use the uh, setup wizard for GCTS to enable GCTS in the S4HANA system. Yeah, see you there. Thanks for joining.